Hi and welcome to another tutorial video. Uh, these, this tutorial, just like all the others that we make on this channel, are specifically targeted at the photography students at Midhurst Rother College. But of course, if they benefit you, then this is brilliant as well. Um, and we can see how we can help you. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at the tilt shift effect and how to apply it in an app called Snapseed. We've looked at Snapseed before. Uh, to begin with, what is tilt shift? Uh, this example you can see right now is an example by uh, an American photographer called Richard Silver. And this is a, a research study I get students to do in year 10, where we look at tilt shift as uh, the effect. And what we have here is a very thin band of focus, which is going through the center of this image. And then the out of focus area falls off towards the top and the bottom. So it's almost creating a, an artificial depth of field that wouldn't usually exist. Um, usually this is created by tilting the lens on the camera. Um, this is either with special lenses or by physically removing and tilting the lens, uh, you can also achieve this. Um, but for today's tutorial, uh, we're going to show you how to do it in post-production. So kind of cheating, kind of not. So to begin with, we can look at um, what Snapseed is. So Snapseed is a free editing app available on Apple and Android devices. It's made by Google uh, and it's actually a really great app. It's really slick. Um, it just works beautifully. So I've already got that downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And I've got an image here waiting. When you first open the app, you will see a plus icon in the middle of the screen. So you can select the um, images you want to work with. This is one that I um, have ready from earlier. So along the bottom of the screen, we've got uh, options for looks, tools and export. Uh, the center option for tools is what I'm going to tap for the moment. And in order to create this tilt shift effect, we're going to apply the lens blur. So this is the second row from the bottom, fourth icon over from the left. So if we tap lens blur, it will open up this circle for us. Now, in the Richard Silver examples, uh, we saw that the blur that was created or the tilt shift effect was created was a bar through the center of the image. Um, and what we're looking to do today is to create recreate that. So the lens blur does start off with this circular appearance, but we can change that just by taking your thumb and finger, and we're going to pinch to make that selection area narrower. We can also tilt it at the same time if we wanted to. So we can do that. If we tap this blue dot in the um, in the center, we should be able to move that. There we go, we can move it so we can choose the center of the in focus area. And then you'll notice at the top of the screen, we've got a blur strength slider. And by tapping and dragging our finger left or right, we can change the strength of the blur. So obviously we could take that right up if we wanted to. Um, but I'm gonna go for about 50, 55 at the moment. It creates a nice effect there. If you're happy with how that looks, then you can simply tap the tick in the bottom right corner and that will confirm that selection for you or that modification for you. What we are going to do just before we do that is we're going to take a screenshot. This would be for use in your books. So that will put it in the camera roll and then we're going to tap the tick to confirm our edit. Once we've edited the image, we need to export it so it's ready for use. So we tap the export icon in the bottom right corner. So this is really important. If you just save it, that will wipe over the original image. Whereas what we are going to do is we're going to save a copy. What this will do is it will create a copy of that image in your camera roll ready for use. So what you'll end up seeing within your camera roll is um, an original image, uh, the edited image, and of course the screenshot. We need all three of these things in all of the edits that you display. In response to Richard Silver, we're asking you to do four edits. You can do them on here on Snapseed if, if you like, and that works well. We're securing those in your book. And then when we annotate them, we are talking about what you did, how you did it, and what the impact of that change has been. It's important to make connections to the, uh, the work by Richard Silver when we do this. So that's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. If there are others that you'd like to see, then please do get in touch um, and we'll see what we can do for you. Email address for contact on the channel is in the channel description. Thanks for watching.